Hello, hello, hello. Welcome everyone to Jetta TV. I am J11. This is Football Manager 2022. The youth are coming challenge save with Bill and Ma. We have just improved our youth facilities and we're in November. I wanted to do this as a video because I want to show the facilities as they are now. Mostly because we finally got our main facilities to the level they once were before they were downgraded. And given that our training facilities are now back up the grade, our youth facilities are finally back at average, and our junior coaching and youth recruitment are both an exceptional, and we got a 30,000 seater stadium, we're going to be making a bit of money once we get everything else running in. And if our players being as good as they are is anything to go by, then I'm thinking we can make some really good profit, and we can absolutely have some great intakes as well. We've also had a few games since we last met, so let's go over those while we can, shall we? The first game we had was in the Tessa de Portugal against Pivedem, and honestly, it took us 64 minutes to get the opening goal. So when they equalised, and yes, this actually is a thing that happened in the 72nd minute of the game with Felipe's goal, I was honestly starting to get a little concerned since, you know, a third tier side trying to come back against us in the cup is not ideal, but we did get back in front Zimmer with the finish and it was enough to ensure we got all three points and honestly I needed the results most because we absolutely dominated them and if we hadn't won it would have been slightly embarrassing so thank god we managed to win this game right we then went to Academico de Fusel and absolutely battered them remember the days when we were the team who struggled against them yeah those days are over then Tua gave us a lead 32 minutes in and then we scored a penalty in the 6th minute of the game Alvarez with the finish so a comfortable day in the office for us and a very nice situation to be in where we can win by two goals to nail against a relegation candidate. Yeah, I'm calling Academico de Fazal a relegation candidate when I'm not even part of it. Yeah, it, it's one of those things. I'm going to say that here and now. I want to be avoiding a relegation battle again. We then hosted Benfica and we went behind inside 49 minutes after the Cataliero scored that effort from the corner. But we equalised 81 minutes in. And I'm thinking, oh, this is a chance. Then Tua plays across to Mariah, and Mariah scoring that effort. Good stuff there. It's just a shame that we considered the winning goal in the 91st minute of the game. Because, well, ball gets played across. Daka's there. Yes, Dax and, Pac Pax and Daka is at Benfica. And we lost. Good game. It was terrible in this game. And we are struggling with a bit of injuries and rotation. And I may have sent too many players out alone. I'm not going to make the mistake again next year. I will have enough strength in depth for next season. If I don't, then I really am deserving to be sacked at this point. I really do. We then hosted Don Tilla, and for the longest time, I thought this is going to be our first draw of the year because today we landed 10 men. Then Claudio Tazera does that. What a finish from him in the 89th minute of the game. And then we make it 2 0 inside the 93rd minute of the game. Don Tilla has spent most of this game with 10 men. Bernas finds Antunes, Antunes scores that header, 2-0. And they were down to 10 minutes, like 23 minutes after their player tried to kill one of my own. So, honestly, if we hadn't won this game, I would have been a little peeved. But we did win. And honestly, after that, it was just plain sailing. You know what I'd love to do one day when we go to Vizela? I'd like to draw in the league at some point. Even if we went ahead, thanks to his effort, it was a very nice finish. And a bit easy, even if it was a bit scuffed. But then this happened. Petro Rizzoni does that, and Petro Rizal scores the best free kick I've ever seen scored. And then we consider the winning goal inside 75 minutes. And Petro Rizal finds Montiero, and well, keepers left wrong footed. And Tribolo didn't have the best of times here. We still can't draw. We lost again. If we're going to drop points, can it be a draw soon? I'm getting sick and tired of losing games. I really am. That was actually the last game that we've played, and we're now down in ninth place. And honestly, looking at this, we are comfortably 10 points to the relegation playoffs with a game in hand, which is against Sporting. So don't get your hopes up too excitedly because I am expecting Sporting to beat us, even if they have lost four times. Looking at the season preview, though, we're actually now down in 16th, and the two teams bottom below us, are, if they don't get relegated, it's just shocking itself. Also, one more thing, we've had to give a promise to Victor Ventura that he'll be solved for his release fee. I'm going to be honest, I'm actually going to put that as asking price, mostly so I actually have the money available. I also want to see if people want to go for it, because it's an interesting situation to see what happens, and if we were to get the asking price of 33.5 mil, then at least we've got something, right? Also, half a million is way above its value, yeah, 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 yeah. 
He's asking price. This is release fee. Thank you. But yeah, we're taking on Pastor Steve Ferreira in the fourth round of the Tots of Portugal. And the reason I want to go and take on this team is because we lost them in the league. And because we only made it to the fifth round of the Tots of Portugal twice before. The first time was in our fourth season at the club. The last time was in the first season in the top flight. So if we can get there again, that'd be great. Also because the board want to get to the fifth round. And I don't want to have that on my back. You know, I don't want on my back saying... Well, you need to be winning this. You need to get to the fifth round. I also want to win this competition one day. I want to do it before 2039. And we've only got four more years to do this. So we need to beat this team to get through to the fifth round. And let's be honest, it's a game I feel like we can win. We are also playing some games, which is going to be difficult. But at the same time, I want to make it so we win. We're playing this team with some in this lineup, which is the likes of... Chipotle in goal, he's now, I made him a star player because he's really good. Chifino as the right back because why wouldn't he be there? He is a decent player for us. Bruno Lasker, I think it's time to improve again. I don't know what's happened, but he's starting to improve again. And having a six foot six defender is always useful in defense. We've also got Esteval as the center back. I'm honestly going to say this here now. I might move him forward to the defensive midfielder role. <gasps> Yeah, I know, we, we, we couldn't believe it ours oh, either, but we need more strength in centre-back, and we need to get someone to improve him quickly. Armadou is playing as a left-back. He's not played for a while because he's been injured. So to play him again as the left-back is going to be useful. I've actually considered making him a centre-back, but I then realised, actually, we need someone on the wings that could be good. So Armadou stays there. Luis Santos is back from injury, but he's only finished for 45 minutes, so this could go badly for him, but... We kind of missed him, and seeing him back there is good again. Fernando Alvarez plays with the Mazzola on the right. I think the fact that he's our top goal scorer this year is a bit damning on our players, but hey, he's in the form of his life. Ribeiro is back as well, playing as the deep line playmaker. He doesn't like playing along the last side of Alvarez for some reason, so they don't like each other. I don't know why. Victor Ventura wanting to leave for his release fee of 33 and a half million. He's now valued at that, and I'm just going to say this now. This may be the last w time we see him. I'm expecting some offers sooner rather than later. If he doesn't leave that value, then I'll be disappointed because I actually want to sell him for his value, honestly, at this point. And Tunis has finally been capped for Kate Verde, and he scored his debut. It only took him 14 seasons to do it, but hey, he's finally got capped for his country, and he did make a mark when he did score, so good for him. Quintanero starts today as a striker. Yeah, he starts. Not ideal, but he is also someone that... I think he'd do a good thing. He does come to get the ball, so weird enough, he suits the role. No idea why. Also, no idea why he tries overhead kicks. It's not amazing, but there you go. Sandy Pereira is on the bench, because why wouldn't he be when Chabilla's starting? He's still the highest paid player of the club, and he's got 50 caps with uh, Guinea Bissau, so good for him. Jose Brasicinho is improving, and I'm actually saying this here now. I think he'll be in the first team from next season onwards as one of the main starters. And I genuinely believe that. And I'm excited about that being the case too. Will Pope is on the bench in the midfielder. Yeah, we put him on the bench because we need more depth and we don't have a lot of players. We are... I've actually loaned out too many players. It's ridiculous. But that's just improving and coming off on the bench every now and again. So I'm trying to ease him in. And with Ventura looking like he'll be leaving at the either this window. And with Ventura leaving either in the winter window or the summer window... Letting Bonas ease his way into the first team is a thing we need to do correctly and to not rush him in. I'm probably going to play him as a winger and not inverted winger either, so I think easing him in is the best course of action. Zim has been the on strong hero for me as far as I'm concerned in this save and this window. He's a striker who is free finishing but he's scoring goals on the wing, so he's one of those players that just does better than expected. Mara's on the bench not because he's been playing badly or not developing, but because he is not fully fit, so I thought, you know what, let's give him some first team football and let's make sure he is okay. I should probably think about that, given a contract where he gets more than two years deal. I think I might try and make it so he has an extra clause in his contract. But yeah, this guy's definitely improving and I'm excited because I think if he scores goals, he's got four this season to win in the league, then he'll be an exciting player for us in the future going forward. He's also good enough for the second tier as well, which, again, is all the more reason for me to be excited. Anyway, let's take on Pastor Steve Ferreira and let's make sure we win, shall we? Okay, we've got the ball here. Quintanero tries to fight Antonis, didn't work. I was actually playing my Build a Nation 7 Twitch earlier today. This is coming out. I'm recording this today. This comes out, but I was playing my 
Twitch save, and I was actually enjoying how well we were playing. And we just considered the goal great. But I was enjoying myself, and I, I thought, I'm going to need to do another recap because I just finished that season, but we were playing some really good football, better than what we've been doing here. And we're playing the 4 2 3 1, and for whatever reason, it works there, but it doesn't seem to work here. And that's a good header from Rodrigo Matos, and it's a bit disappointing we conceded there. 1 0 Pasati for error. They got a free kick. I'm actually really concerned. About this competition. Like I, I genuinely want to win a cup competition. Or get into Europe. Within the next year or two. If we don't sell Ventura. Because if we sell Ventura. We'll have the money to be good. But I need European football. You know we've had no shots so far. We need to do something quickly. I've just braided the players. Because I'm actually furious. With how we're doing so far. And we need a good ball over the top maybe. I might need to stop going so short passing. And go more direct. For one reason or another, it works in some games, but doesn't work in others. But then again, Pasatini for I've actually second in the league right now. And Ventura can play his across. He's won a penalty. And Alvarez is going to get a chance to score from the spot kick. And we need him to do so. Because we need a goal. And he's hit the post. He's actually hit the post. What is happening? Why is it now we get a chance and we scuff it? 1-0 at half time, and we've missed the penalty. So... The man who's literally got all our goals, who's been a top goal scorer, has actually messed up for us. And I can't believe our eyes. We're giving him a free kick. I've gone very attacking. I'm desperate for a goal. And we're not going to get it, are we? We've literally considered it again. I am... I'm trying to figure out what the hell is wrong with this team. Because quite frankly, this team is just so broken. It's ridiculous. I know I really need to think... I might need just to change my tactic, honestly. I, I just don't know what to do anymore. And it's so frustrating. And I wish I knew what was wrong. We're out of the cup again. And we have missed the penalty just to add insult to injury. So I'm, I'm just... I don't know what to fix here. It's so frustrating when I know we've got the problem. I know what we can probably fix. But I need to tinker a bit more. I might just try and tinker this to work. I'm going to tinker a few rolls, I think. To try and match it. So we throw a few... I'm sorry, that's your, that's your release clause. It's his release clause. It's literally his release clause. And he gets upset by the fact I put his release clause. Are you kidding me? At what point has this become a problem? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to tinker this role. I'm going to tinker this formation. And I want to fix this. Let's hold a shape. And let's force opposition that wide. Because this is what I've done in the other thing. And I'm going to actually copy this over now. We're not going to have that. We are going to force a position that wide. And we're going to hold our shape. I think that's what we need to do. It works in the other thing. Mind you, I've got better players. But it works in the other thing. And I think it's what we need to be doing. It's literally what I'm changing. It is literally what I'm changing. I'm also going to have Bernas when he comes in. Do his own thing. Become a winger. Because I think having him as a winger on a tag is the way to go forward. I genuinely believe it. And I might need to get rid of Antunes and replace him. You know what? I'm, a sh I'm not upset about this idea I'm about to do, but I think in terms of season's done, and we're going to have a Barisha be the winger on that side. Why is it that that's the prop? I'm confused now. Why are you not doing what I hoped you would? Why do they not like playing with each other? I feel like my team's just broken. I don't know what to do to fix it. Maybe three for four or something. I don't know. I might just drop I might just drop Antunes on sale to get out right now. I think that's what I'm going to do. And since his career is over, I think, as far as I'm concerned, we'll have two wingers on the bench, and we're just going to work with that. Yeah, that works for me. That's our plan now. Hey, boy, I am going to end this here. I hope you guys enjoy yourselves. I hope you guys like and share this video. And the channel, we don't have a lot. We should be back to the YouTube tomorrow. I am quite excited.